What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of the PlayStation 4 Road to Glory. Now, I've got some stuff to talk about. What you're seeing on the screen now is me attempting to qualify for the Weekend League. Uh, lots of gameplay, a few signings, mostly gameplay. Um, we came up against some insane teams and insane players in the daily knockout tournaments. What are they doing in this? Surely you've already pre-qualified for foot champs, and surely you don't need the 2,000 coins on offer, but that's where it's at. Now, I picked a whole bunch of questions um, from the last video. Some of them are to do with the series and the channel, but I've kind of made up my mind a little bit um, anyway as to what I'm going to do. And it goes against what I've said I was going to do. Um, and for some of you, I apologise. For some of you, it won't make any difference. But the plan is going to be for the next two and a bit weeks, uh, because it is only that long, I think we get... The demo comes out on the 15th, which is literally like 16 days away, uh, 17 days away. Um, and then the full game is released, like you'll have the web app a few days later, uh, the early access a few days later. So for the next two to three weeks, um, what you're going to see on this channel is either nothing, app games, vlogs, like just me just talking into the camera style vlogs, or um, or player on those battleground or Destiny 2 or Call of Duty because I know the beta for that is out this weekend. Basically, we're going to have two to three weeks of just random things. And the reason for that is is because I have no desire to play FIFA extensively anymore. I thought taking a week off, you know, I, I was getting to breaking point anyway when we stopped the Xbox Road to Glory. I, you know, I, I felt like a fresh challenge would be fun. And it has been fun, but I thought it would really revamp my want to play the game. Um, and it just hasn't, it, you know, I, I don't want to give you guys content that I'm not enjoying making because in turn you guys won't enjoy watching it. So I think it's more important to just give you guys um, things that I'm enjoying doing. And I think it would also be a good time with just two to three weeks until the new FIFA to really wind down playing FIFA and just get, you know, get really fresh for the, the grind that is to come in FIFA 18. So um, I don't know what I'll upload or when I'll upload. All the uploads will always be 10 p.m. on this channel as per usual. So you, if, if you're a fan of the channel a lot, you're just going to have to check back every day at 10 p.m. And if you see something, it's there. And if there's not anything by 10, there won't be anything. But FIFA 18 will, sorry, FIFA 17 will no longer be uploaded on this channel. That's not to say, however, that I'm going to be stopping the FIFA 17 PlayStation Road to Glory. What I'm going to be doing instead is live streaming it on Twitch. So every evening that I stream, quite a lot of the time, it will be the PlayStation 4 Road to Glory. Because I still do, I, I still love playing FIFA and enjoy playing FIFA. But what I'm not enjoying is the, the, the grind of playing 10, 12 games, editing, uploading, you know, topics to talk about are really scarce right now because the game's so dry. And it, it just... I enjoy more the interaction with you guys live whilst playing FIFA instead of what we have at this stage right now uh, of me like answering questions from videos or doing a few things live. And I think some of you could tell it was coming. A lot of people in the comment section were saying, dude, like just, you know, give it a break for a few weeks. We can see the game's dead. You know, nobody's really watching FIFA anymore. Nobody's really playing FIFA anymore. Um, and just generally speaking, the enjoyment levels of playing, recording, editing, making FIFA are so low for me, funnily enough, except for in the draft. I'm really loving the draft right now. Never thought I'd say that, but I am really loving the draft right now. So um, this, uh, this will be the last FIFA 17 video on this channel until the day before FIFA 18, and then I'll do a recap of where we actually got to on this account, because as I say, I will still be playing on this account on live streams. So this will be the end of the FIFA 17 PlayStation 4 Road to Glory right now. And then in a couple of weeks time, I'll do one final recap of what we've got, where we've gone and how we've done it. Um, and that would be great. You know, it'd be uh, a lot of fun to do a little recap video there. In the meantime, we're going to see some other games uh, at, at one stage or another. I love Call of Duty. So when the World War II beta is open again this weekend, I think it's Friday through Monday, uh, we'll have four days of me playing COD. I might upload some of it. I might upload none of it. I might upload all of it. Who knows? Um, obviously, I love playing player on those battlegrounds, so I'm going to start recording my PUBG sessions and popping up anything that is really good and really fun. Maybe get some tips on how to get better because I'm terrible at the game, but I still thoroughly enjoy it and just generally have some fun on this channel for a couple of weeks. You know, 
uh, this, this this channel has uh, just outgrown my expectations so much, and and I know there are still 40, 35 to 50, maybe 60,000 people that show up every day to watch the Road to Glory. Um, but for the, for you guys, if you're if you're really interested still in in the FIFA side of things, I will be streaming the FIFA. So there's that. Uh, into the questions. Um, all the FIFA related questions about this account, I guess, are irrelevant. Um, David Marshall says, uh, I love your videos, Nep, and the daily content is awesome. However, I think we can all see the effort you've put in this year and all you've been through. So I feel we should take it easy for a few weeks, enjoy some time with the family and come back fresh for FIFA 18 next month. Much love. And yeah, that, that was, you know, what? Like, I had it in my head anyway that I was like, damn, man, like, I, I hate, like, what I hate doing is giving you guys, you know, saying something and saying, hey, we're going to do this. And then a few days or a week or two weeks later saying, actually, we're going to do this. Um, I, I gave the... Xbox Road to Glory, everything. You know, I invested so much time and so much effort into that RTG. Um, I felt like the PlayStation 4 would be something fresh, but you're right. I, I think, uh, you know, to take two to three weeks of, of just winding down, playing some other games, recharging the battery, spending some good time with my family, uh, and then coming back for FIFA 18 day one fresh, I think that is probably the, uh, the best option. Um, that's another another video, uh, another thing. Um, so Jack Carpenter says, why don't you try out some new games like Overwatch or something like that? And, and that's uh, kind of covered it all, but um, I I'm I quite enjoy Overwatch. I enjoy a lot of games, actually. Diablo is a game that I like. I know Path of Exile right now. For those of you that enjoyed Diablo, Path of Exile has been a game that's been out for some time now, um, but is really starting to make waves. It, it is way more in-depth than Diablo. So people that love Diablo and have a lot of time will really, really love Path of Exile. The problem with Path of Exile is I just, I don't understand it. Like Diablo, I've been playing for a decade and I still don't understand every single aspect of the game. And I've been playing it a lot over the last 10 years. Um, with Path of Exile, I gave it like 10 hours and I still didn't understand the first goddamn thing about it. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, it was it was very difficult to grasp, but um, I like other games. I like Overwatch. I like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I like Call of Duty. I like uh, I've never played a game like Destiny, but I'd be interested to try that. I know the Destiny 2 beta is coming out. Um, you know, I, I like games like I played Rainbow Six Siege with uh, Bates and Marshall and a few others for a while, and I enjoyed that. I do like a lot of different games. Um, what I don't like is uh, how's how to explain this the best. Um, when I play games like Overwatch, for example, I'm not the greatest at Overwatch. I just enjoy the game a lot. The same as League of Legends. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like silver standard uh, in, in League of Legends. Um, I was okay at Overwatch. Not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but not bad either. You know, we, I, I had a, a positive win rate, for example. Um, so, you know, I, I, I like playing games like those. But to record those, I feel like in this day and age, in this era of YouTube and Twitch and stuff... You have to be exceptional at a game to generate any kind of viewership. And not that this is all about viewership. I would rather play these games for fun, on stream or off stream, than play a game of Overwatch, say, and then record it, commentate it, and upload it, because the gameplay won't be good enough. Like, people just won't want to watch it. And I know that I know that for a fact. I know, like, COD maybe, because I'm actually quite good at COD. Uh, I, used to, I used to play COD more than FIFA, actually. COD 4, I spent my life on. Uh, I was exceptional at COD 4. I was also exceptional at Modern Warfare 2. Um, and then during the era of, like, Modern Warfare 2 and later, like, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, uh, Modern Warfare 3, etc., that's when I started really getting into, like, uh, Ultimate Team. Not that I didn't play FIFA or Ultimate Team anyway, because I did play them. But that's the time... Like around the area where I really got into um, into Ultimate Team, and I stopped playing most other games because I, I just invested all of my time and energy into into uh, fart basically. Uh, but COD, I think, would be fun to upload. So definitely on this channel, the COD uh, through the beta will get uploaded. PUBG, I really really like PUBG. I'm not the greatest at PUBG, but I'm not the worst at PUBG either. You know, um, I, I feel like as a team we can always get high quality finishes. So if there's ever a game of PUBG that I'm streaming that has some really high quality gameplay and content or action or hilarious bits in, I'll definitely upload that game to YouTube and, and let you guys watch that for those of you that missed it on stream. Um, but Overwatch is a game that my friend circle just don't like or play or enjoy. Um, you know, that there's nothing better in, in my opinion the, in this day and age than playing games with friends. You know, I know FIFA is, is one that you can't play friends with, and I wish they would introduce a game mode 
that was um, like five-a-side or clubs, but ultimate team themed. Does that make sense? So imagine like an ultimate team based theme where I create my ultimate team and it's only it's five a side ultimate team instead. Same concept, same principles, except when you play a game, you have to have all your friends playing with you from their consoles. That would be amazing. That would literally like, basically a smaller version of clubs with ultimate team incorporated. I think that would be one of the greatest game modes ever. EA could easily monetize it just by packs or, or items, stadiums, kits, badges, boots, balls, you know, they could easily monetize that sort of thing. And it would be a hell of a game competitively and a hell of a game for entertainment factors. But uh, I don't think we're going to see anything like that anytime soon. I would most definitely love to see that though. Uh, but yeah, I think right now playing games with people is one of the best things about gaming right now. Uh, PUBG, I won't play PUBG solos, I just don't enjoy it. Uh, the only game I'll play by myself, pretty much, is FIFA. Uh, even with Diablo, when I'm not playing with friends, I go into the public lobbies and play with people. Uh, you know, people that I don't know. Um, just because uh, I enjoy playing with people more than I enjoy playing by myself. Except in FIFA. Even in COD. The thing with COD is, so many people play COD, it's so easy to get friends. But even in COD, even if you're playing by yourself, you're not actually playing by yourself. Because you've got teammates. You know what I mean? I don't know. You get what I mean. Danny O'Donnell says, hey, now, quick question. Do you think that five-star skillers... Do you think that five-star skillers perform skills better than a four-star skiller? For that my El Shireo performs skills like the stop and turn more effectively than my Muriel... Really enjoying this new RTG and I'm looking forward to watching you during FIFA 18. Well, thank you for the kind words, my dude. Um, I, From my experience, the skill moves are performed more comprehensively based on dribbling and reaction stats. The higher dribbling and the higher reactions they have, the quicker and the snappier they perform the skill moves. Uh, so on that note, El Shireri probably has better dribbling, better reactions than um, the Muriel, which allows him to complete the skill move cleaner and quicker. Uh, I could be wrong with that, but that's uh, that's my personal opinion. Trey Clark says, why don't you post a PUBG as a live stream? Either live stream it from YouTube or Twitch and then post a stream as a video for us to watch. Um, uh, would be my preference for the streams that I missed. Love your videos and keep up the amazing work. Well, I appreciate the kind words again. I have thought about streaming on you, on this YouTube channel. Um, the, uh, the, the problem with it is, as I said, like one of the things that I enjoy most about streaming per se, or specifically streaming, is... Um, I enjoy the interaction with the viewers. I, you know, I enjoy the chat. I enjoy reading people's messages. I enjoy engaging in conversation about things ranging from gaming to sports to politics to religion. You know, we go down every rabbit hole you could possibly imagine. The problem with streaming on YouTube is the chat is absolute AIDS. It's just hideous. Um, it's it's impossible to read the chat. It's full of um, you know racist slurs. Uh, homophobic slurs, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's not a nice place, the YouTube chat during live streams. So until YouTube can figure out a way to really uh, rein that beast in, I, I don't enjoy streaming on YouTube. That's not to say that I won't or that I won't figure something out. It's just at the moment I don't enjoy it. F.E.E. Turk says, did you guys notice Nep's club establishment was written July 2016 at 1807, but then it's written as July 2017, at 1827. Isn't that weird? And I also believe uh, there was a comment a few weeks ago that one part of my video said that it was established July to uh, June 2017 and one said July 2017. So I don't even think EA know or, or sorry maybe June uh, sorry maybe July and August I can't remember specifically. I don't know why my established date keeps changing. It's very bizarre. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like it. And last but not least Fen Colum Hallowell, what a great name, it says, hey Nep, try FIFA Mobile, I recall you briefly tried it at the start of the year, just a suggestion, keep up the great work, I love FIFA Mobile dude, um, FIFA Mobile for me had a few issues with it, they're, they're getting there now, um, they're making some changes, they're about to reset the game here shortly, um, and when the game is reset, and everything's back on even, even like, level playing field again, that's when I'll likely get back into FIFA Mobile. Um, also, Football Manager 2018 is coming out soon, so maybe we'll see some of that ventured on here. I don't know. Lots to do, lots to come, lots to happen. Uh, in today's video, unfortunately, dudes, uh, we got to the final twice and lost in the final twice. Uh, the first final that I lost 2-0 to the Super Team, I really should have won that game. I had a lot of incredible chances that I missed, and my opponent got the dumb luckiest goal off of a corner and then scored a penalty. 
This final, however, this was far more even and it could have gone either way. Uh, no, no, you know, don't begrudge my opponent for beating me there. He, he played a great game. I played a great game. And it, it just happened to be the situation where he took the opportunity to score his goals better than I did. But definitely the first uh, final where that guy had like team of the season Eber and stuff. I smashed that guy and it, like his team carried him. That's the difference between a standard goal team like I've got and a super team like that. Um, they, they just really do help you take your chances. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.